Hello everybody and welcome to Rachel Rambles, formerly known as Ladle by Ladle. Today, we are going to be recreating some popular, I don't know if popular is the right word, some dishes from the TV show The Office, but we're gonna make them vegan. Yes, 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 yes! So if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that like button. So the first thing that I wanted to make sure we got recreated. Oh boy, I'm already having a problem with words. So me think, why waste time? Say lot word when few word do trick. <laughs> Was Michael Scott's signature drink. I'm gonna call it that. Is that scotch? Scotch and Splenda. Tastes like Splenda, gets drunk like scotch. I hate scotch and Splenda. Let's get this started and then it'll really be a party in here. Why have you chosen brown and gray balloons? They match the carpet. What is that? It is your birthday period. It's a statement of fact. But you know what? I also love really sweet drinks, so there's a very real possibility that I like this. Oh, let's stir that up. <laughs> it all just sank to the bottom. I don't know if you can tell, but you can like see the Splenda in it. Like it didn't dissolve. Okay now, okay now, here we go. You know what? <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> no, well, you no, know. No, no. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Okay, so we are going to be veganizing two iconic dishes from The Office. The first of which, and I think anybody who's even a passing fan of the office could guess this one we're doing kevin's famous chili at least once a year i like to bring in some of my kevin's famous chili i'm serious about this stuff it's a recipe passed down from malone's for generations yeah. it's probably the thing i do best so right here in front of me, I have already prepped all of the ingredients that I'm going to be using for our vegan chili. I don't think that his chili was vegan, although he didn't say it wasn't vegan. Unfortunately, nobody got to taste it because you know, he dropped it. Actually recently, that actor, what's his name, Brian Baumgartner? He did a commercial with Bush's Beans about making like an actual chili, which I thought was very funny. Hello. Extra peppies, extra fun. <laughs> Nailed it. Hopefully my version is a little bit better, but we will take some hints from the dialogue. The trick is to undercook the onions so that everybody gets to know each other in the pot. He presses his own garlic, he dices his own tomatoes, and he uh, roasts his own ancho chilies. So listen, I didn't, press my own garlic. I brought pre-minced garlic. I didn't dice my own tomatoes because they make it so easy for you at the store. <laughs> and then also, I did go to the store and look and they didn't have any ancho chilies, so instead we are using what I usually use, which is jalapenos. Hopefully it all evokes the same vibe. Listen, no one really knows what these foods taste like, so we can only assume, right? We can only do our best here. I'm gonna take another sip of this. Um, you know what, the Splenda's dissolving. That's kind of weird. Okay, let's make this chili. Okay, we are in voiceover mode. Voiceover mode has been activated. So this is basically a little bit of a riff off of my typical chili recipe. The only difference is that I added lentils, which I actually think made it a lot heartier and better. The reason I did that is because in the clip from the office, you can see that Kevin's chili looks pretty chunky. Obviously that's meat. And I kind of wanted to recreate that texture. So I figured by adding lentils, that would hopefully do that. Anyway, jumping in. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is add some olive oil to a, what is this called? I, a big pot. I don't know. There's probably like an official name for this thing, but it's a big pot. Once the olive oil is heat, has heated up, has, become hot. Whew, I don't know. Um, you're gonna add your vegetables, your onion, your celery, and your jalapenos or serrano peppers, right? Or what pepper did he use? I can't remember, whatever one he said. Whatever pepper you want, the world is your oyster of peppers. And you're gonna cook those down for, uh, I don't know, usually like five minutes, five to 10 minutes, somewhere in there until they look soft and broken down a little bit. And then you're gonna add your spices. Now for my chili, I of course use a hefty amount of chili powder. And then I also add some paprika and salt and pepper. Typically I would also add cumin, but I ran out. 
so I didn't have any for this recipe. You're gonna let the spices cook with the vegetables for a minute or two, but you need to make sure that you're constantly stirring so that the spices don't burn because I've done that before. I've burned and it's just, it's been bad. So don't do that. Then you're gonna add in your lentils. Then you're gonna add in your tomatoes and then you are going to add in your broth, obviously veggie broth. And then finally I added a can of kidney beans and a can of black beans. You're gonna stir all of that together, bring the entire thing up to a boil. Once it's boiling, give it a good stir and then put the heat down on low and let it simmer. Now you can let this simmer as long as you'd like for at least a minimum though of 30 minutes. I think on this day I let it simmer for like 45 minutes. Uh, you know, this is where the flavors are all getting to know each other in the pot. Okay, while the chili is simmering, I'm gonna take a little sip of this. <coughs> it's getting worse. Nope. A few moments later. Hello. Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. It's still very hot, but it does taste good. It does? <laughs> yes. Flavors seem uh, acquainted with each other. The next recipe that we are going to be making is a tuna sandwich. I ate a tuna sandwich on my first day, so Andy started calling me Big Tuna. I think I could go for some tuna fish right about now. <laughs> 185 pounder, check it out. Whew. In case you were like, you know what? This is just some basic mid twenties white bitch. Of course she says she loves the office, blah, 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 blah. I have a cat named Big Tuna. Big Tuna, this is Big Tuna. Big Tuna, 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 Tuna. So when I was thinking about recipes that I wanted to veganize, obviously we're veganizing a tuna sandwich. I have done this before, but I had a food processor at the time and recently our food processor and our blender went completely out of commission. So I have a Ninja blender in the mail on its way here, but it won't be here for a couple weeks. So I'm gonna have to do this by hand, which is gonna be really interesting. In my experience as a vegan, I have always known to use chickpeas as a replacement for tuna. Without further ado, here's a big tuna sandwich. Okay, so here are all of the ingredients that you will need for the tuna, vegan tuna rather, sandwich. And I'm gonna have all the exact ingredients and measurements written down in the description below. This is actually one of the easier quote unquote recipes that, th that exists and when done correctly, it's really good. So you're really just gonna add all of the ingredients to a giant bowl and then mash it up. Unfortunately, there was a little incident with the salt. <gasps> there was no lid on the salt and the whole thing of salt just fell into my... Disaster, 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 disaster. But salt incident aside, you are just going to mash everything up. It would be better, of course, if you had a food processor to put it all in, everything would become a lot more like a tuna consistency. But I've actually been eating this for the last couple days and hand mashing it worked just fine. In fact, I kind of liked having the bigger chunks in it. So it's really up to you. And just remember mashing, if you're gonna do it by hand, it's gonna take a long time. Be patient, try and get all the chickpeas mushed down. It's gonna be really good. Here, let's taste it. Okay, well, I just finished making the tuna sandwich and I have a swallow left of this but I honestly don't know if I can do it. Okay, we obviously had a huge salt malfunction while <laughs> making this but hopefully I got enough of it out that it's still edible. We shall see. This is gonna be my dinner for the evening so I'm hoping that it's good. <laughs> just kidding, I just wanted to do that but it actually is too salty. <laughs> but. It's not so over salty that it's inedible. All right, I'm gonna give this one more swallow and then I'm, I'm done. <coughs> Good lord. Are you okay? Yeah. You have any ice? <coughs> sure. How about some Splenda? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please remember to hit subscribe and hit like, hit the notification bell, ah uh, la 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 la, all of the YouTuber things, and hey, I hope this video left you satisfied and smiling. That's what she said. <laughs> oh